Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Restaurant Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In the previous tutorial, we learned the user book a table online. So in this tutorial, in the admin panel, we are going to show those data so that uh, the admin can see which user apply for a reservation. So for it, let me just log in and let me go to the admin panel. So I'll give the admin email, then the password here, then click on login. There you can see it took us to the admin dashboard. So here we are going to have an option called reservation and on the admin click on that reservation option it will show the admin all the reservation in that page. So for it let's go back to our code and we will go to our resource then views in the views we have the admin folder and in the admin folder we have the sidebar.blade.php so here after the order li, I am going to copy this li again and I am going to paste it here and this top orders we are going to say here reservations and the url name will be reservation as well let me say here reservations as well so we go down and we have also some uh, extra uh, demo 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 here so we are going to remove this so for it uh, here you can see extras so i'm going to remove this ul from here let me just save this and if we just refresh right now then you can see we have only four options right now so when we click on reservations it will take us to another base but we will be able to see all the reservations made by that user for it let's go back to the code and first of all we are going to create a route for this so let's go to our routes then web.php and let me just copy this route control c then control k so the route will be k and here our route name will be reservation so let me just copy this control c and i will paste it over here after that we'll use the admin controller let me say here admin and the function name will be reservations as well so right now let's go to our admin controller and get this function so let's go to our app http controller then admin controller and here we are going to say public function reservations to first bracket then to second bracket so from here we will return a view we say here return view and the view will be in the admin folder and the view name will be reservation let's say so right now we need to create reservation.blade.php in the admin folder so here you can see we have the admin folder you just slide right click then click on new file and the file name will be reservation.blade.php and there you can see so first of all let me just say here simple html and in the body we are going to say reservation page let me just save in and open habit is that whenever someone click on this option it will call our this url and this url will call the admin controller reservation function and our this function will return us to this view which is this on so right now let me just refresh here and let's click on reservations and there you can see it says reservation page so here where we have the admin page design we have we'll have the sidebar and the error section for it let's go back and we'll go to our uh, admin edge.blade.php and i'm going to copy everything from here for play control c after that we'll go to our reservation.blade.php and we're going to paste whatever we just copied from here so control p so from here we're going to remove this admin.body let this save it and right now if we just refresh here there you can see we have the design so here we are going to create a table and in that table we will show the data from the books table for it let's go back to our code and here we are going to create a table so let me just show the table tag in the table tag we will have the table row in the table row we will have the table header so let me just copy this table header and I am going to paste it three times so the first one will be uh, let's say phone number let's say phone number then we'll say here number of guest then we'll show the 
dead and air will show the type and for those table header we need to have table data so let me mention another tr and here we are going to say td for now let's say a b c d and let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it three times right now if we save it then refresh here then you can see it will look like this so we are going to make it look like a table for it we are going to write some css for the table tag then t tag then the td tag for it let's get the top and inside the get section where we will say here style in the style let me mention the table tag in the table tag we are going to say border it will be on pa solid uh, let's say sky blue then we are going to say margin uh, it will be auto then let's also mention the table width it will be let's say 1000 pixel if we now save it then refresh here it will look like this let me just go back again and right now we're going to write some css for the th stack let me say a th we're going to say here background color it will be sky blue then we'll say here padding it will be 20 pixel then we we'll set text align it will be center if we now save this then refresh here it will look like this so right now we are going to write some css for the td tag for it we are going to say here td again we are going to say uh, let me just copy this padding and text align center and paste it here let's say padding will be 10 pixel and text align will be center we can also mention the color from the text it will be white font wet it will be bold let me save it then refresh okay there you go so let me just uh make make that text color point for that text tag as well let's also say here font size it will be 18 pixel i think this will be better okay there you go so right now we're going to show the data from the database table from this book table so for it what we are going to do is we'll go back to the code and we'll go to our admin controller and first of all in the admin controller we're going to mention the book table model name so at the top we're going to mention the book table model name so we say use app backslash model backslash it will be book then we we'll put down after that we're going to declare a variable let's say dollar book you can declare any variable uh, equal to we'll mention the book table model name which is book double plot all after that we'll send this variable with this key because in this variable we have all the book table data so we'll say here comma compact to first bracket single position book so let's go to this page reservation.blade.php and let me just put down and before this tier tag we are going to mention a for each loop we say here at the end of for each dollar book as dollar book and this for each loop will gain over here so we say here at the end of int for each so inside this tree deck we are going to show the data from the database so here we are going to give to second bracket then we say there dollar book this arrow sign and let me just go to the database and here you can see we have the phone number like this guest like this state like this and we write name like this way so we need to write it exactly over here so first of all we we'll say here phone and let me just copy this and let me paste it here after phone we have the guest so we we'll say here guest then we have time and date so here we are going to say date and this one will be type let's say here type save it then let me refresh and there you can see those data are coming from the database and i think we should have some padding over here at the top so for the table tag i'm going to say here margin top it will be 100 pixel 
they win, they refresh, oh, this is better. So this is how we can show all the reservation in the admin panel. In the next tutorial, we are going to fix the dashboard design a little bit. We are going to show the number of user, number of books, I mean reservation, and number of order and number of food in the admin panel. So this is all. I hope this was useful. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.